Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel. And today is the time for yet another episode of Code and Solder, and we are talking about nothing else but soldering irons. That was hot. I'm just kidding. Intro. And there we are back and if you're following this channel you know that I wasn't able to put a video last week which I do on regular basis because of some work commitment uh, but this week I decided to make a long awaited video uh, and that is about soldering iron. If you're new to the channel I'm guessing that you have interest in DIY electronics and technology so consider subscribing because I put uh, weekly tutorials and today we are discussing about soldering irons and of course as you have seen in the video title which is the best soldering iron you can buy in a budget and uh, I recommend the soldering iron by Must Tool, uh, which I have been using for almost two years now. And I have first came across it on uh, AliExpress, which is a Chinese uh, website. And I ordered uh, a few of them, and I've been using it for almost two years now, no complaints whatsoever. And it's a really great soldering iron for beginner to advanced user. And uh, of course, it has a lot of different features, which we are going to discuss uh, shortly. And it's a very compact soldering iron, as you can see. You can also call it soldering pen, as uh, some people do. Uh, it's a 60 watt soldering iron. You can also cut a 100 watt options or a 30 watt options, but I recommend you stick with a 60 watt or 100 watt uh, for high end works. Uh, for most of the different works like PCB soldering and soldering components on different boards, uh, it's a really uh, great soldering iron. Uh, the best part is it's a temperature controlled. So uh, if you're familiar with soldering irons, they usually come up with a soldering station and there's a knob for temperature control. Uh, but this one has a right there inbuilt on the pen itself. So it goes from uh, three, uh, 200 degrees Celsius to 450 degrees Celsius, which is a great range for different kinds of components. And uh, one of the best feature about the soldering and it comes up with the exchangeable uh, soldering bits. So you can get a shallow one, you can get a, a thick one for different components. Uh, you can also get a large area for soldering transformers and uh, windings and whatnot. So uh, let's move ahead in this video and start with unboxing of a brand new uh, soldering iron the same one which I just showed you it's by a company called must tool so and yes uh, soldering iron is a must tool for uh, every uh, maker uh, arsenal so yes uh, let's start with the unboxing and then I'll show you how this works and different specifications soldering iron come up with and uh, it comes for around 500 rupees if you buy it from China in India it's available on Amazon for almost like 13 to 1500 rupees I'm not sure so if you can wait I recommend you to buy it from China they would take around uh, 10 to 20 days to reach you uh, but if you're impatient like me you can go with Amazon and order it all the links would be down below in the description so yeah let's move ahead with the unboxing and uh, some sample soldering stuff <laughs> So that is everything which comes in the box, one soldering iron and five different bits as you can see. One bit is already attached and these bits are for different purposes like this one is a very pointed bit which you can use for very precise soldering for small components like SMD. Uh, then we have this one, I don't know where to use it. Then this one which you can use for very uh, high power components and uh, maybe this one you can use for transformers and this one for electrical circuits. One small thing is that the soldering doesn't come up with a stand so buy it separately want if you already have you can use that and you can put it like this changing the bits is also very easy you just have to uh, unscrew this uh, filament tip uh, and then this will come out then you can put on the another bit on the top of the filament the filament is actually the heating element and then you can just screw it back like this and you change the bit so that's how you change the bit. Uh, the temperature knob is there as you can see this goes from 200 degrees Celsius to all the way up to 450 degrees Celsius. Uh, one small complaint is this is very uh, freely movable kind of knob so you can accidentally move it while soldering it. So keep note of that. Uh, I had a chance where I wanted to solder at 300 degrees Celsius and by mistake I put it to 450 and the pads rip off so this is a, a something you need to keep in mind other than there's no comment whatsoever a great soldering iron and these bits are really helpful so keep them safe uh, this do comes with a small pouch you can keep up in your maker bag so now let's do some test soldering with the with this iron i'm going to solder some of the leds on this pcb uh, this is a small sample pcb uh, from one of our project i'm trying to make and i'm going to solder some 3mm leds on this and uh, maybe I'll show you what I'm making in some future videos uh, by the time 
if you are able to guess it put it on the comment section and you might win this one who knows so now time for some simple soldering so let's roll some b roll alexa play some good music Definitely not my best soldering job. It's very hard to solder and keep the camera steady together. Anyways, so that was all for this video. Hope you learned something new. If you do like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you consider buying this soldering iron, consider using the links in the description below. That helps me and helps grow this channel. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next one.